when you talked before about getting to know people in your audience, you said you interviewed five of them. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Well, I asked the meeting planner to put me in touch with five people who, if not, you know, candidates to be in the audience would be likely to be in the audience. Mm -hmm. And I call them up and I frequently talk to them for about an hour. Mm -hmm. I also ask that they be, be uh, humorous people yeah. because I find that people with a sense of humor see the workplace differently and I can get better stories from them. Mm -hmm. and, and what I'm looking for are some stories about how humor is used well, how it's used inappropriately, uh, how they have solved problems, you know, that kind of stuff is what I'm looking for. And so I take these stories and then put them in to my presentation. Or once in a while, this does not happen as often as I probably should make it happen, but once in a while I will get a story and I know that person is going to be there mm -hmm. and would be comfortable telling it. Oh. And oh. like there was, <laughs> there was one that this woman named Lisa, she worked for um, Credit Union. And she was telling me this story, and then I had her relate it to the group. But the story was she had just been promoted to this new customer service job, and she was pumped. I mean, this was just cool. And this is her first day on the job, and the phone rings, and, you know, they have a little formula that you say, you know, the name of the company mm -hmm. and, you know, that kind of thing. So she picks up the, you know, she says, the name of the credit union, and, you know, good morning, the name of the credit union. And this guy just cuts her off with a string of cuss words. And she said this was not in her orientation program, no. you know. And so she said all she could think of was she just held the phone out like this. She said after a while it went quiet. So she put it back to her ear and she finished the phrase, you know, this is Lisa, how may I help you? And I said, what did he do? And she said, well, he just kind of gulped and then he was really nice. You know, he got a cathartic thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she said, we solved the problem and it was fine. And I had her share that. Well, the room just exploded because they all knew her. They could exactly see her doing oh, this sort of thing. Yeah. You know, and it was just such a nice way of, I mean, you don't have to get the credit for the story. No. You get the credit for how they enjoyed the presentation. Yeah. And so having somebody else share something is often a brilliant way to really get an audience feeling connected with itself and with the speaker. Mm -hmm. And it's a 